Tell me if this sounds familiar. Either you as the business owner or you as the bookkeeper who has a client that has an Amazon account have made a ton of purchases throughout the year. It's the end of the year and now you find yourself ready to start preparing all of your information for your tax preparer whether that be you, your spouse, or an actual accountant who will prepare your taxes. But you realize that you didn't really save too many receipts and you have no idea what you spent or what you purchased because you cannot remember what you had for breakfast yesterday and here you are trying to recreate a whole year's worth of purchases that you made on Amazon. Well, today, my friend, I am going to show you not only how to export all of that data from Amazon, but I'm also going to show you what file that you need to actually focus on because believe it or not, Amazon will send you the historical file from the very first purchase you ever made on your account to right now. I want to make sure that you know what file to use. I'm going to also show you the, the columns that you need to pay attention to, not only for yourself as a business owner, but if you are using a bookkeeper or if you're a bookkeeper who has clients that have made a ton of purchases, you can provide some guidance as to how to export this data and how to start preparing it or formatting it so that it starts to make sense. In just a few seconds, we're going to go over to my desktop and I'm going to walk you through step by step by step, as well as how long it should take for you to get something from Amazon. You're asking Amazon to give you all that data for all those purchases that you made. And that way you can start sorting it between personal and business, or maybe like in my case, I have two businesses. I run my bookkeeping and accounting business as well as an Airbnb business. So I wanna make sure that I can separate my purchases between personal, my Airbnb business, and my accounting bookkeeping business. Now don't come at me and start telling me why I need to have a business account. Right now we're focusing on all of you who have a personal Amazon account. You need to get all of that purchasing data out of Amazon and into a spreadsheet. Let's go. All right, here we are at my desktop. Step one is to log into your Amazon account. Once you have logged into your Amazon account, it may open to whatever window it does, but the main thing is you wanna make sure that you click on hello in your name because you want to go to your account. Your account is where you want to be because when you scroll down, the window that you're looking for is the one that says manage your data. Manage your data will allow you to then request your data and that link will give you the access to select the data category. Amazon gives you a lot of different options. We don't want any of these. We want to default to your orders. Your orders is what the file that you want that will have everything from the very first purchase that you ever made on your account. So once you're here, request your data, your orders, submit the request, you're gonna get an email. Okay, it says thank you, we're waiting for you to validate your request. That is important. You gotta be on the lookout for an email. It says please check your emails and click on the link provided. If you can't locate it, please check your spam or junk folders, all right? So I wanna make sure that you know that you're going to be getting an email that looks a little bit like this, and you wanna go ahead and click on that button and confirm the data request. They just say, we have received and are processing your request to access your personal data. At this point, they will prepare the file. They're going to send you another email when it's ready, and it could take up to three hours or six hours. Just keep checking back, don't worry about it. At this point, you have completed your request. Now it's up to Amazon to gather all that data for you. I wanna point out that this email came from Amazon at 4.03. I got the notification email that my data was ready at 5.51. I always like to just open it right away and access the files. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna click on the download the data and that'll take us to this window where it says download your Amazon data. Let's go ahead and download the files. The files have downloaded. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. Here it is in your downloads. And again, it's gonna be a zip file. So you wanna double click in order to open that. Once you see the folder, you can expand it and you're gonna see all of these folders. And it was way too much data. You don't want any of that. The one that you want is retail order history one. Go ahead and expand that and you can see it's a CSV file. That is okay. We're gonna open that CSV file and I'm gonna convert it into an Excel file. If you do not, if you don't see this, that's okay. I'm gonna say Excel will perform the following data conversion into so remove leading zeros, which is fine. Uh, you may not actually get that message, but if you do, that's, you just noted. Now at this point, it's still a CSV file until you save it. You have your Excel file. So we're gonna go ahead and say file, save as. What you wanna do is you want to select an Excel file and save it. At that point, 
you will notice, I'm going to close this, we'll go back to our um, downloads. You will notice there are two files now. We want to work in the Excel file. This is a really large file. It contains it from the very first transaction. What I like to do is create a copy of the original data. That way, if I make a mistake when I'm formatting and adding filters, I can always go back to the original data. All right, so at this point, you click on that tab, you right click, and you're going to make a copy. This window comes up and you want to click on create a copy and you say, okay, go ahead and freeze your panes. The way you do that is you can go to view and you're going to freeze the pane. In a future video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to format this in a way that will be ready for either yourself to upload into your accounting, to do some bookkeeping or to give the file to your bookkeeper. But for right now, the main things that you want to highlight, there are a lot of fields. I think there's like 27 columns in total, but the ones that you care about are order date, total owed, and product name. Now, in a future video, I will make sure to walk you through how you can format this in a way that makes sense to yourself as well as to your bookkeeper for the current year. For now, I just wanted to take you up to this point where if we recap, I have shown you how to request the data, how to access that data, and then how to convert the data into Excel. I want to show you one more thing, and that is how to upload that CSV file into a Google Sheet in order for you to then work on it in your Google Sheet. Here we are in a Google Drive. I'm going to go ahead and upload a file. I'm going to go ahead and upload the CSV because I'm going to make sure that you know once you access that, access that CSV file and we rename it, you can see that it's come up here and it says CSV. Now we're going to open that file and once you open that file, it says open with and you're going to say Google Sheets. At this point, we're going to do exactly what we did with the other Excel file. And that is we want to freeze the panes and we want to highlight the columns that we want to pay attention to because at that point we can absolutely hide all of the other ones so we can focus on what we need. In a future video, I'm going to show you how it is that you can format and prepare this worksheet so that it makes a lot more sense for whoever is going to be working on your books. At this point, I would find the tab at the bottom and I'm going to duplicate and you see, I can see that that's the copy. I'm just going to click and drag to the front because I want to make sure that that is the one that I work in. And just as a best practice tip, I always like to highlight the tab that I'm going to be working in. In Google Sheets, I will walk you through step by step how you can format this, but I will do so in the next video. At this point, you have what you need in order to start preparing your data for the current tax year, whether you need it for yourself as a business owner or you're going to hand it over to your bookkeeper or you are a bookkeeper and you need to ask your client for this data, you can now walk them through how it is that they can request it, and then you can sort it and format it differently. And like I said, in a future video, I will show you how to format this so that it's a lot more legible because this is a large file, especially if you've been on Amazon for longer than a couple of years, you will have a lot of purchases. Remember, the goal here is to identify the transactions for your business and strip away anything that's personal or any other non-business related. Or like myself, I have two businesses. So this file is going to contain personal, business one, and business two. In the future video, I will show you how I quickly identify that as well as how I can insert a category to quickly filter not only for myself, but for my bookkeeper. And there you have it, my friends. Now you know how to log into your Amazon account, how to export the data, and how to focus on which file to download in order for you to start formatting and preparing your data. Now in the next video, I'm going to give you a little bit more insight as to how you can manipulate that data in order for it to make sense for whether it's for yourself or for your bookkeeper or your tax accountant. So if you're watching this real time, you may not see the video pop up right now, but just give it a few days and I will be sure to publish it and you can access it. It'll just take a few minutes and you will be able to see how you can simply apply a few filters and you know format the data whether it's in google sheets or excel i'll show you both ways so be sure to check out that video coming up in a couple of days if you're seeing this in the future then you should see the video pop up here on the screen i'm veronica sagastumi of the bookkeeping shop until next time i'll see you soon